Hi, I'm Ben Organ, Director of Technology at Athena. I studied computer science at the University of Bristol. While I was there, I started two companies with some friends. Uh, one was a web hosting company, the other was a digital marketing agency. I worked on those for about 10 years or so, uh, kind of growing them up, learning a lot about how to run a business um, and how to, to build websites, web technologies. In 2018, I moved to Canada, not really sure what I wanted to do, but uh, ended up working for a product company. Uh, so getting back into some engineering. So it was really interesting to start working on products rather than projects. Following that, I came across the role at Athena for Director of Technology. So this was an opportunity to get back into more of a leadership position and uh, head up technology at a really exciting and fast growing startup. So technology at Athena comprises of three teams. So we have a, a product team, they focus on building uh, web and mobile experiences, uh, mainly for our clients, but also for internal users. We have a platform team who are focused on providing our infrastructure, making sure it's secure and available. And then we have a data team and they're responsible for managing all of our data that we store, as well as uh, reporting on that. I think the short answer about how to get the most out of the team is treating them like human beings and caring about their success. I think in terms of practicalities, there's three main areas. So the first is empowerment. So making sure that the team is empowered to solve problems in the best way. Rather than giving them a list of uh, features to implement, instead we give them problems to solve and we give them the context and empower them to solve those problems in the best way. So I think the best source of innovation of great ideas often comes from the designers and the engineers who are working closest to the technology. They know what the technology is capable of and they're closest to the problem and are able to come up with innovative solutions. You know, if you're only using your engineers to code, you're only using your designers to design, you're only getting about 50% of their value. A lot of their value comes from them being able to innovate. I think another really important uh, aspect of getting the most out of your team is to make sure there's that psychological safety. Uh, you know, fear holds us back, but to be able to get the most out of the team, make sure they're included and, and asked for their opinion. Uh, you know, a lot of great ideas come from engineers and unless we provide that psychological safety, unless we make it safe for them to speak up, uh, then we'll never hear those ideas. To build and lead empowered teams um, is not easy. Uh, it's taken a lot of practice, a lot of hard work, a lot of making mistakes and getting things wrong. I think a really important aspect is having a strong feedback culture. You know, allowing people to say when they're stuck, to say when they messed up, um, and to be receptive to feedback, you know, to, to graciously give and receive feedback. I think that's one really important aspect. A lot of my thinking and uh, advice has come from a few really good books. Uh, one of the most notable ones is Empowered by uh, Marty Kagan. And in that book, they talk a lot about how to build empowered teams. Um, rather than given a list of features to implement, they're given problems to solve. And they also talk about how to build extraordinary product teams uh, from a team of ordinary people. One of the quotes that's always stuck with me is from the late, great Steve Jobs, who said, uh, you know, it doesn't make sense to hire smart people and tell them what to do. We hire smart people and have them tell us what to do. And this really resonates with me because, you know, as leaders, we don't often have all the answers and often the best ideas in the room come from engineers, designers, uh, product folks who are closest to the problem. As a leader, you know, my job is not to do everyone else's job for them. Uh, it's not to micromanage. It's to set the right context, to inspire people and to create an environment where they can succeed. Often, we're not aware of our own weaknesses and areas for improvement. As a manager, it's really important that we're able to have those difficult conversations with employees in order to help them improve. Um, you know, feedback, especially constructive feedback, can often uh, be perceived to be quite negative because no one likes messing up, no one likes doing things wrong. But you know, we're all human and it's really important that um, we have this strong feedback culture where people are able to, to receive and give feedback graciously and, and see feedback as a gift uh, because it just helps us improve. It helps us get better as individuals and it helps us get better as a team. 
The Agile Manifesto has been around for a while. Uh, really, it boils down to listening to feedback from customers, um, to delivering software frequently, to treating people as humans, and to trusting them to get the work done. You know, I think at its core, that's really the, the premise of the Agile Manifesto. And it's this kind of timeless concept, really. So I, I definitely think it's still relevant today. So having a diverse team of people helps us solve problems in the best way. Historically, technology has been predominantly uh, white males. And it's really important that we get more diversity, specifically in gender. You know, we're starting to see a lot more women come into technology and that's, that's great. Often in technology, the things we're working on require different approaches, different ideas, different ways of thinking. And we don't get that by hiring people who are the same as me. You know, I, I have flaws, I have biases, I have weaknesses. And if everyone was like me, we wouldn't be able to see things from a different perspective. So for us at Athena, it doesn't matter, you know, what your gender is, your uh, background, your nationality, your sexual orientation. You know, we want that diversity. We want uh, people from all different walks of life, all different backgrounds, because that's what allows us to solve problems and deliver great technology products, uh, because everyone comes at it from a different perspective.